how have you balanced that with the, the, the sales aspect to the brand building aspect of the business? As, yeah. I mean, clearly you've got branding down. It, I mean, if you're going to get 75% referrals, that's huge. Yeah, um, it's an eight year period. It's not like you've been in the industry for 30 years. Um, that, yeah. That's huge. So right. how are you balancing sales and branding? So, um, you know, I'm really trying to get as good as you and a lot of these other people that are in my upline with EXP as far as your online presence, because, you know, it doesn't really come natural to me. But um, but I know like that video is a, an awesome way to connect with people. So that's really like I'm really trying to get better um, about connecting with people on video. However, you know, as far as um uh, building my sales, you know, my sales numbers, which is super important to me because, you know, we all like to get paid. So I'm trying to build my numbers. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to build a team underneath me. So, um, something that I'm doing as far as that is I'm creating, you know, kind of a machine. I'm starting, um, another company that will provide even more services to my clients. So, you know, I feel like the more experience, the more connections that you have, um, the more your clients know that they can count on you for anything that they need um, is, is super important. So, so yeah, I'm, I'm basically building another company now, which I'm super excited about. Can't wait to launch it. Um, have a lot of stuff going on in the background with that, but it's basically going to be, you know, a driving force, driving those leads in for my team, not just for me, but for my team underneath me. So um, it'll build my sales, but it'll also build my team sales. So yeah, I, I saw you um, make a post about that. Yeah. So or to talk to you more about that later on. Um, so you're, you're building a team, you've got the um, communication being heart and center at, uh, I guess, the, the client relationship aspect throughout a transaction that's helping you ultimately brand your clients yeah. into becoming raving fans. And then now you're actually building a team of agents to replicate that. Um, yeah. What has been the biggest challenge that you find with other agents being able to replicate what you're doing? You know, I think it's mindset because, um, you know, there's a million people getting their license and there's nothing that we can do about that. All you can do is focus on being the best agent you can be, providing the most service, having the most knowledge, building them, having the most connections, you know, don't worry about the things that you can't change, only change the things that you can. And um, I see a lot of times I'm always trying to encourage other agents like they get discouraged. You know, um, there's a million people getting their license or, you know, I don't, I don't feel like I'm doing enough of this or doing enough of that. It's like, you know, you have to build that. You have to build your spirit up, build your mind and and move forward every day. You know, that's all you can do. And so um, that's you know, that's really where I focus. Like every day I start my day, uh, it's, it's, you know, meditations and, um, positive affirmations all the way. I take my son to school every day and he listens to him with me every day. So I'm, I'm all about like building up your, you know, your knowledge base, building up your mind, building up your spirit and just, you know, slay the day. I was listening to a podcast. I don't remember who it was, but, uh, the, it was the kid telling his experience driving to school with his mom and uh, he asked her to turn on some music, and she was like, "No, you're in the car with me. You're listening to Tony Robbins." <laughs> right. That's awesome. Yes. That's a thirteen. So he's gonna start reading books with me now. That's that's the next thing. 